Hello everybody and welcome to Green Star Trading with me Tom. All views, opinions and ideas expressed in this video are my own and do not constitute financial or trading advice in any way. Right, for the next few minutes we're going to be looking at GameStop. It's been a few weeks since I last looked at GameStop. Not because I've neglected it or anything, it's just purely because the price action hasn't really done anything the last few weeks and it's been very difficult to put a count on it and figure out where the hell we're going. So we're going to do a quick update here because I'm not really none the wiser to be honest and I'm just going to present to you a couple of possible options till I see some serious price action moving one way or the other I can't really point to what I think is going on I can just give a rough idea so that's what we're going to do we're going to go straight into early wave count we're going to start with a bullish count now the idea is that we've come up into a wave one 5,000 odd percent up we've come down 90 odd percent into a uh, primary wave two and then we've got one two primary one two intermediate one two minor one two minute one two minuet and then three four five off we go higher that's it so basically all I'm arguing for in this bullish count is that we're building a massive extension in the primary wave 3 which has already begun but we're just building up all the 1-2s on sub wave degree until we finally erupt higher. If we do erupt higher it will be breaking this downward trend line which we've taken the high from January, the high from March, joined them up, projected forward, we tested it yesterday, got rejected with open lower today. Are we going to turn around and get through it? If we do, that's bullish, just keep an eye on that. Go get a chart, draw the line on it, go keep an eye on that, get five wave move through here, three wave back, and we're continuing on, that's bullish, that's a potential buy. If you do see five waves up from below here, however it comes, this could be a one, two, three, four, five, you're looking for a three wave pull back, and then you're a buyer, essentially. So if we break through here, that's bullish. If we break down from here, well, we've got a series of rising lows. This low, this low, out to this low, and as you can see, low high low high low if we break this that's bearish and we're likely going to dump down that's really it guys looking at the Elliott wave one of the bearish options i've got here is the idea of a flat pattern we are in log scale now this makes it a bit easier to see we've come down in the primary wave one down to primary wave two here i the labeling's gone missing for some reason i think it's because it's too far gone in the log scale we can't see it let's just bring it up yep here it is so we come down into wave 2, intermediate wave 1, and now we're working on intermediate wave 2. Okay, so we've got the same triangular kind of pattern we're working on at the moment. You could argue that we've gone A into a triangle. We're working on a triangle now in a B wave, okay, before we break down. Uh, you'd have to, let's just move this ABC out of the way. I'm not sure how you'd have to label this. We'd have to go A, B, this would be the C. D before the B, E before there, and then you could break down, and you'd be in some kind of triangle, okay, in a B wave. Like, let's have a quick look, something like this, okay. So if you are trading in that triangle, this low should not come back below this B wave here. We have seen a three wave move in the C, potential three wave move in the A. It's a bit tricky to pick out. Three wave move down here originally though. Mm, I'm not 100% sure about that. If we were going to label it like that, we'd label it with the B here and the C to come lower than the A. So we'd be coming down below $116. I don't know where to. We'd have to wait to see where this B completes. Then we can take the length of the A and project it from the B to find where our C is going to be. An alternative way of looking at this would be that we've come down in three ways into an A and now we're doing three ways into a B. So you could say we're going A B, C into this kind of area 50 to 61 percent retracement of this move down and then we dump in five waves down into a C this would be a regular flat if we came above where the A began this would be an expanding flat if we came above where the A began but completed before where the A finished that would be a running flat there are your three options for a flat pattern I have no idea which one it is I just don't okay it looks triangular but it also looks potentially bullish but it also looks potentially like a flat pattern and we're just going to have to leave the Elliott wave there count uh, count there for the moment guys as it's, there's just too much going on at the moment or not going on I should say so if you're a bull look for a break of this upper trend line if you think that triangle pattern might be like look for a break of this lower trend line and then we'll flush down lower Okay, if the flat pattern's right, we'll break above the upper trend line and then break below the lower trend line. So 
there you go either way focusing on this downward trend and focusing on this upward trend i think is your best bet at the moment don't get caught too too much up in the elliott wave sometimes it can be more of a hindrance than a help i love elliott wave as you know i'm an elliottician i love this stuff but when you're dealing with a range that's gone up five thousand percent and corrected 90% it leaves a lot of internal space for an internal correction of this major high and this major low that's a lot of room and there's a lot can go on here and when you're dealing with these kind of bubbles and it is a bubble like it or not it is a bubble um, you are dealing with a huge space in which you can correct and that's all I can really express it as on that note I just want to say I'm not a big poster on social media I do keep up to date with what people are roughly saying and i just want to point out to novices who are in the market who brought this meme stock and some other ones perhaps i'm not having to go at the stock or at the company i'm just saying a five thousand percent move is irrational that's all i'm saying people who brought these stocks near the highs or they've not been in the market for very long like i have for multiple years um, there's a lot of impertinence and impatience out there at the moment about when's it getting next going to moon is it going to go back to the moon look guys since going up a uh, five thousand percent we've only been in correction for 89 days 90 days now that may feel a long time for a noob who's not been used to being in the market but 90 days to correct a five thousand percent move is nothing absolutely nothing okay so yes we could be bullish and we could be off the back to the moon in the next few weeks but this thing could drag on for quarters and for years it's a possibility it may never come back so until we get some kind of decisive move one way or the other we're just going to have to follow the basics for the moment so on that note let's clear away our Elliott account and let's have a look at the basic technical analysis and see if we have anything else any clearer clues to look at so we have four exponential moving averages 10 in yellow 20 in blue 60 in orange 250 in green we have our volume profile on the right hand side showing the various peaks and troughs of the buy sell volume with the point of extre the extreme point being marked by a yellow dashed line which is our point of control we have a MACD with a 10 for the short term moving average in blue and an orange for the long term moving average which is a 20 we have an RSI set to a 10 close green 30 level is oversold red 70 level is overbought and what can we see well we are trading above on the day time frame above the 10 above the 20 above the 60 above the 250 still fundamentally bullish we want to see the price stay above these trend line above these exponential moving averages if we're going to retain a bullish bias and for the moment you might as well maintain a bullish bias we've seen the 60 percent exponential moving average tested on one two three four five occasions and it's held as a major support continues to do so if that were to change and this were to break we could take that as a bearish sign from a basic analysis point of view on the macd we've had a bullish cross of a short-term moving average over the long-term average to green bars here on the histogram after a long period consolidating bearish activity if we seek an acceleration of the short-term moving average away from the long-term moving average supported by price this would be bullish a return to bullish momentum would predict higher pricing nice and simple rsi sat in neutral territory between 40 and 60 never made it all the way down to oversold even with the huge sell-off all the way back here 90 percent sell-off could not make us oversold perhaps it's destiny that we make it to oversold before we can move back up perhaps not i don't know a move back up in the rsi following this trend of low here low higher low higher low higher low into oversold supporting the price supporting with the momentum from the macd and the rising moving averages would all be very bullish so it's just a case of for the meantime you might as well bet on things progressing bullishly things still look stable things still look in control but a breakdown through these moving averages a shift in momentum back to bearish or a collapse in the rsi would all be very very bearish and if we were to take out a major support like the 60 i think it would probably be game over for the foreseeable future that's all i've got to offer you on gamestop i wish i had more stuff to tell you something more definitive but it really isn't a clear setup and it really isn't a very definitive thing it's just so it's been so volatile that the relative price movement recently has been very dull 
So uh, that's all I've got for you. If you're new to the channel, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, smash the like, leave us a comment in the comment section below if you want to, hit the bell notification icon to remain informed of future videos. Um, I'd like to thank all my patrons, thank you very much for the support. If you're interested in becoming a patron, there's a link in the description below. Go and have a look, check out the tiers, but I'd ask you not to subscribe until at least the 1st of May, that way you won't end up paying for April and May together, just May. But we've got a lot of great stuff coming up next month, 26 odd stocks, ex-dividends and payment dates for tier 3 if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Also got a Twitter feed, please follow me, that's also in the description below as well. Take care guys, and I'll be back with you soon. All the best. Bye bye.